What do you do when you want to do three things for Thursday and you don't have a place to do it that's quiet? You go to the Highlands. Er. Okay, so welcome back to the Humble Horologist. This is Anthony, your Humble Horologist. So humble that I don't have a studio. All I have is a room and a green screen or a den with a fireplace. When all those things are being used and I have a schedule to keep, guess what I have to do? I guess come to the Highlands or the Highlander. So <laughs> I'm in a Toyota Highlander. That's the car that I drive. And uh, for now, at least, I've got one on the way. But this is the uh, the ride, and I, I told my wife, I said, I want to go outside and film in the car because I don't have anywhere else to do it where people are not, uh, you know, babies are crying or things going on, people doing their work and all that. And if you live in a house with, with people in it, that's what you get, and that's a great thing. As a matter of fact, the Bible talks about how that a stall... That is all clean and neat and everything is a sign of a poor family and why is that because if you're going to have a stall you have animals in it animals make messes but that means you've got you've got wealth you've got the animals you've got the cattle i'm not saying my family are cattle i'm just saying that it's better to have a mess and have people around it's better to have noise and have people around than it to be totally quiet and totally mess free because that's awful lonely well, I met back today and I want to talk to you about three things. It's going to go over three minutes, but at least it won't be that long. Maybe. We're at two and a half minutes now. <laughs> so, all right. First thing, the t-shirt. Some of you have been wondering, what is this t-shirt that I wear all the time? It's because coffee. It's in Dawsonville. I got a thing in here somewhere on the sleeve, maybe. Well, I don't know where it's at. On, anyway, Dawsonville, oh, it's back here, and I can't turn around. Dawsonville, Georgia. Or, yeah, it is Dawsonville, isn't it? I'm getting to wonder about my own self here, because I know there's a Dawsonville, Kentucky, isn't there? But anyway, uh, this is where some of my ancestors wound up after coming here from England in 1834. First they came to Dahlonega, Georgia, then they went to Dawsonville, and I don't want to get into the story at the moment. But... Uh, it involves a lot of history. Well, we went there to visit, and there's a coffee shop there called The Cause Coffee. It's a, a family locally owned uh, business, and so uh, I got a t-shirt there, and I've had it ever since, and it's one of my favorite t-shirts, and I like coffee, just because. So that's the first thing. I wear this shirt a lot because I like it. What's the second thing for Thursday? New glasses. Check it out. I'm getting all modern. I might even look like a guy that says hello you know who I'm talking about hello if you like them let me know if you don't like them let me know I would love to have your opinion it's not going to change anything because I've already bought them and I'm not going to buy any more for a while but tell me what you think do they make me look smarter or do they make me look cooler or do they make me look different hello and the third thing, by the way, I'm wearing a nice little Pagani Design 1701 version 3. For those of you who don't like Pagani Design because it's an homage from China, that's okay. You know, if you can afford to go buy you a Speedmaster, go ahead and do it, and I'll be happy for you. But I can't. This is the best I can do, and it's a nice alternative. I recommend it. It's a good watch. But... The thing that I want to talk about today is legibility. Legibility. If a watch is not legible, what good is it? Have you seen some of the Richard Mill watches or the other kind like the Bugatti Veyron watch and all these just super mega expensive watches that the ultra rich are so proud to have, but yet the average person, if you were to ask, what time is it? They would look at one of these watches and say, I have no idea. But I have a watch on that costs more than a house. 
or two and a boat attached to the truck in front and all that. No, I can't tell the time because I can't read the darn watch. So what good is a watch except to show off if you can't read the time when you need to read the time? It needs to be legible. One of the best watches that I have is the Timex Weekender when it comes to legibility. But there are plenty of other watches that are legible that range everything from $5 all the way up to probably 500000 I don't know, but you don't have to buy an expensive watch to get a legible watch. Now, I would say this. If you're buying a watch that is not legible, then you're not really buying a watch for the purpose of owning a watch, in my opinion, because a watch is meant to tell time. If you cannot tell time, if you cannot watch the time, then what good is your watch other than to keep something on your wrist and to brag about, and quite frankly, to waste money. Now. What do you think of my opinion on that? I'd love to hear. Maybe you think I'm off my rocker. Maybe you think I'm on the wrong side of the car. Let me know. I would love to hear. We can have a conversation. But whatever the case is, make sure you like this, this video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you click the bell at the bottom or wherever it's at so that you can be notified every time a new video pops up. I love saying that. It sounds so professional. And remember, watches, legible or not, are replaceable. But time that you're supposed to tell on your watch is not. Use it wisely.